Hello and welcome to the Shop Integrator Weebly shopping cart demo. I'm going to show you how you can quickly turn any Weebly website into a Weebly store using the Shop Integrator e-commerce button add-ins. Um, and it's uh, example web page we've created here that showcases a number of the uh, standalone e-commerce buttons and plugins that we have. So you see there's a an add to cart e-commerce add-in that's short description and a price and some product options all controlled from the Shop Integrator web admin. Um, an in-page multi-currency picker for the currencies I've enabled. So if I was to switch between these currencies, you see that, that change. Put that back. It's got some in-page shopper statistics here for um, having the running total of the cost of what they've added to their cart as they shop across your website. And if we scroll down, you'll see that here is an entire table of products I was able to add with a single e-commerce add-in. Uh, that this one you see also is out of stock, um, so it's showing a sold out. So the stock control feature is on for that product. So I'm going to show you now how you can also turn your website and web pages into um, an online store in Weebly as well using the Shop Integrator e-commerce button add-in. So if we switch over to the Weebly Site Builder. And for this demonstration, I'm going to create a brand new page and I'm going to call it Products. And this will just give me a blank page that we can use for the demonstration. So I'm going to put in a, um, a title and we're going to be selling a, a bracelet. So now I'm also going to drag in this multi-column block because I want to place a, a product image here that I'm going to drag straight into the Weebly site. And then on the other side, on the right, I'm going to drop in a Shop Integrator e-commerce um, buy now add-in. So if I drag my product image into the Weebly page, there we go. And now we want the e-commerce button in here to allow the shopper to actually buy that product. So this is where we're going to switch over to the Shop Integrator web admin. So once you've registered for your free trial and you log into the web admin, this is the, the dashboard that you'll arrive at as soon as you log on. So I've already used the product manager to create some uh, jewelry products. And so I've created a bracelet product and giving it a price and description. Um, but the purpose of this demo is to show you how to add it into your Weebly site. So we're going to use the add e-commerce to your website um, page or there's also a quick link button up here so you can get to it wherever you are in your web admin. So on this page um, the first step has you choose the site type that you're going to be adding it to. So I've already chosen Weebly uh, for this demonstration and what that means is you'll get the code below that's specific to Weebly and more important you'll get the instructions that are specific to Weebly as well so it'll be easier to understand because everything will be talking about how to add it to a Weebly site and so if we scroll down we have uh, step two we have different types of e-commerce buttons these just group the different types together so the sell single product is a collection of um, for the particular product I'm selling so these are the products I've created in the system this is the bracelet product you have a number of different choices you, you can have this add to cart and it shows a price and a short description and quantity picker uh, or buy now which will add the item to the cart and open the checkout uh, at the same time or you have standalone buttons for add to cart buy now or a standalone price and you can insert any of these items into your page and it's going to pull that out of your shop integrator uh, e-commerce system. So for this demo I'm going to use the the buy now. So I click on the use this and this is the one I want to to copy and paste into my page. So now we scroll down to the final step. So we'll see here that you get some quick steps that talks you through exactly in the Weebly site builder what you need to do that we're about to show you in this um, video tutorial. And the first step it says is to copy and paste this part one um, script to your Weebly site 
and if you go to the settings tab and once you're on the, the general settings tab we're going to click the SEO for the search engine optimization and here in this header code section this is where we're going to paste the shop integrator master shop script that will now collect connect your Weebly site to your shop integrator account um, on its own it won't do anything in your web page but what it means is now when we go on to add your e-commerce button add-ins um, this tells your site which shop integrator account that you will be pulling the product buttons and into so I'm going to save that and I'm going to return back to the build page so now I want to add my e-commerce button add-in into this block here so the next thing we do because I've already chosen to have that buy now button is go to the part 2 script so this is where I want the e-commerce button to appear so I click there copy and paste that now into the Weebly site now the block we need is in the more section if you scroll down which is this dot 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 uh, for more and it's this embed code uh, element block that we want to drag in to the page so when I click on that and I click edit custom HTML that's what I paste in my shop integrator script and when I click away what shop integrator will now do is in the editor will load that e-commerce button add-in and here you see the buy now version of that of the product so we have our uh, product buy now button in now the example page that I showed you before I had some other buttons for a view cart button and a multi currency so I'm going to show you how it's quick to add them as well so what we're going to do is we go back to the shop integrator web admin so we want to check out in currency control so because we want the view cart and we want the um, change currency so I've chosen that group of e-commerce plugins and you'll see here they are so let's start with the this currency picker so I'm going to choose that one and now I've chosen that one this part one step we've done that once for and that connects your whole site which means we don't have to do that again and so I can jump straight to the part two step and copy and paste this go back to my Weebly site and let's now go up to the um, to the structure let's create a space where we want to put that um, set of buttons into our page so here I've created I've just dragged in a simple column add-in so I'm going to expand that to three columns and in this first block is where I'm going to put the shop integrator e-commerce text that I just copy and pasted so we're going to go back we're going to go scroll down to the more section this dot 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 I'm going to drag in this embed code block just like we did for the buy now button and when I click in that I click edit custom HTML and paste that in and click away you'll see that the um, shop integrator multi-currency uh, add-in is now in the page so I purposely wanted to show you that you'll see here that this is cropped um, and we're going to come back to address that in a moment so there are a couple of ways to address that but I want to show you what it'll look like on the final page so that you can understand um, how to fix it because it's an easy thing to fix so also now in this block I want to put my view cart button so I'm going to go back to the shop integrator I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to say I want to use this instead this view cart button and when I scroll down again I can skip part one because we've done that for the whole site click on the part two text click back to my Weebly site and I'm going to drag an embed code block in where I want the button so I'm going to put it in that middle section and now when I click in it and click edit custom HTML and paste that in and click away we'll have a view cart button in the page so there we go and I want um, a checkout button here for my demo so I'm going to scroll up I'm going to say use this instead I've chosen this button come down skip the part one again go straight to part two copy and paste that checkout button drag an embed code block in to where I want it and click in the 
box, click the Edit Custom HTML, paste the code in from Shop Integrator, and now it's going to load the um, checkout button. So I also want to show you that whole table of products that we had down the bottom here. So because I wanted to go across the whole width, um, we can just drag a block straight into the page. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go back to Shop Integrator and I'm going to choose Sell Multiple Products. So as I was creating different products, my jewelry products, I created a jewelry category. And you'll see the jewelry category is here. And what you can do is you can put an entire table of products into your site that you have um, placed into a category. So as you add new products into that category, this table in your site will automatically update. As you change prices um, and stock levels, the details in your page will automatically update. So once I put this e-commerce table of products in to my site, um, then I can fully manage the contents of it through the Shop Integrator Web Administration. So I'm going to have the Add to Cart version of it. So that's already chosen. And again, it comes down here. We can skip the Part 1 text, go straight to the Part 2 text, copy and paste that, go back to my Weebly site editor, I'm going to take the embed code, I'm going to drag that straight in below this section. Because I want it, want it to span the whole width of the page, that's why I didn't need to put it in, a, in a, a column section. So I'm going to click straight in that custom HTML, click the edit custom HTML, copy and paste in that table of e-commerce buttons, and you'll see now we've got a whole table of products in the page. So I'm going to now publish the uh, site so the changes take effect. And now we added this whole brand new products page. So if I refresh the site, we click on products. Here you go. I've uh, added all of these e commerce buttons for this product in a matter of minutes. Now I purposely wanted to show you that this this horrible scroll bar here now um, and how to fix this. So this is because the contents of this e-commerce add-in is wider than the the block that I have added into the page, the wider than the column width that I set to allow this to show completely. So Weebly is put in this little scroll bar. So there's a couple of things you can do to easily fix that. So we go back to the site editor. So what we can do is, there's plenty of room over here, so I'm going to shuffle the columns along. And now there's enough room for all of this to show. So when I publish that, and I'll refresh this page, there you go, you see the scroll bar has disappeared. So you can either use the Weebly site editor to increase the space that you've allowed for a particular e-commerce add-in um, or for these types of products adding you could go to your shop integrator appearance manager and you have the ability to change the layout to change it to a, um, a vertical layout rather than a horizontal layout and adjust the width of space allocated to these so the variety of things you can do so I mentioned there the the appearance there briefly so all of the style of these e-commerce buttons and the colors and the fonts and the layouts can be um, easily managed from your Shop Integrator um, Appearance Manager. So you can use a variety of built-in button styles and you can have your own custom button images. So the uh, Appearance Manager up here would allow you to change the styles to match in with the style of your website. And when we go back now, and you'll see, I'm going to click the Buy Now button rather than the Add to Cart button. The Buy Now will add it and launch the checkout in one go. You'll see there is the bracelet product. And I haven't created any shipping plans, but if I had, then we'd have gone through a shipping stage to calculate shipping costs, which you can do by country and weight and order value or fixed cost, a variety of different calculation methods. And I've connected the checkout to um, PayPal. 
so this will send the um, customer off to PayPal to pay you for the order at the final stage. There are other payment processes that the system connects to, like Authorize.net, WillPay, SagePay, um, to name a few. So if you check out the Shop Integrator website for the growing number of payment gateways that we connect to, and you can also enable multiple payment processes in the checkout. So you could have um, a, uh, a main secure payment button, and you could also offer PayPal or pay offline or pay by bank transfer, other payment options. So that is my demo that showed you how I was quickly able to turn any Weebly website into an online shop using the Shop Integrator Weebly e-commerce button add-ins. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you'll take the free trial soon if you're not already trying Shop Integrator at the moment. Thank you very much.